Hey, what's up guys? Captain Jack here, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Well, in today's episode, I've um, I've done a bit of a little bit of prep, but I had a few ideas. I was getting fed up of going and getting food and just just living for every few moments and going and finding little bits and not really making much progress. I want to start making leaps and bounds. So, if you look over here, part of that update where I wasn't sure what was going on and I had to learn a few things, I, I gave it a good read up. I think there's been another one since then, but I haven't had time to play this. But um, yeah, I've given it a good read up. I've seen everything you can do. And palm trees are killable again. You can chop them down and turn them into wood again. Palm fronds even um, detach and are a thing again. But they're only really useful as um, fuel for the fire at the moment. I don't think there's anything else you can really do with them. They're not in any crafting menus as far as I'm aware. At least they weren't when I looked before. That helps if you have the hammer on you. Do I have my hammer? Yes, I have a hammer. Um, yeah, they're not used in... See, it's just wood. You just use the thing that it's made of. Driftwood is driftwood. And then wood. Even though there's like palm fronds in that, it's just wood. So they're not really used for anything as far as I can see. Um, we have nothing new new still. It's all the uh, all the same. But I have found out that these raft bases, you can attach more to them to each other. What the hell? Okay. You can attach more to each other to make really big rafts. So I don't have to just have this tiny little thing anymore. Which I'm certainly going to look into. And in case you weren't aware... The update that was supposed to fix these body issues, which actually the body is working quite well now, but let's have a quick look at my feet. Yeah, I need to eat something. I'll show you now. The body gets a bit weird. Look, if I try and eat, watch this. Oh, I didn't do it. It does this sort of. Actually, I've got a water bottle. Yeah, it does this sort of animation like it's going to try and throw it away. It's really weird. So it's just it's just the character movements that say so it's kind of broken <laughs> it's not connecting to itself properly but that's life anyway moving on um yeah so i i have figured out a lot of the things and how they work now i can't remember what some of the issues i was having was but i have figured it all out also i figured out how you get a container door off see i now have the container door We'll be using it at some point. Um, and I figured out this whole farming thing. But for some reason, my farming plot seems to have broken. So, I'm going to kill it. And get this stuff off of me. For now, that can just go there. That also happens. Stuff just... When you try and put stuff down now, it just flings up into the air. So, yeah, the game is a little bit broken. Also, we're still not getting a full description on everything straight away. But, you know, you, you get little bugs with games. I'm not I'm not too fussed, to be honest. I absolutely love this game, and nothing's going to change that. At least when I look at an object, I can see what it's called again now. I'm going to take this with me as food. I don't really want it to stay on the ground and spoil. What else do we need? Um, I'm not going to need a hammer, so that can stay in the weapons pile. Um, I'll take the rest of this stuff with me just in case. Definitely want those two in that. Actually, I'm probably not going to need a lighter. I'll keep my water bottle on me just in case. And my pocket knife. Because we are going to explore that island over there which is on a compass bearing of if I can see if I can get that to look at the compass god damn you it's 310 basically 
We'll call it 310. So run a compass bearing of 310. Come on, you stupid boat. Actually, that's the one that's behind the C4, isn't it? I don't actually have any other islands on my sort of horizon line. Screw it, we're going to that one. <laughs> We're going to that island. We'll go right past this. I don't think I went there actually before. I think I just went to the sea fort and then came back because I had so much stuff on me. Come on, boat. I'm hoping to find a wreck that's got um, more stuff on it soon. And I definitely want to make this bigger so I can see where I'm aiming. Right. I need to go left a lot. Let's see it around this big old sandbar. So I don't want to do that. Damn it. We are sailing. We are sailing. I don't know the rest of the words. But we're sailing. <laughs> oh, that's an island. Actually, I think I've been to that one. Isn't that that other little cluster that's over there? Yeah, I think I went across to that sand and that's part of it. Get on the boat, you dumbass. There we go. Right. I'm doing some weird squat position and I'm slightly hovering off the boat, but there we go. So. What I can get. Okay, that doesn't help. I can't see what it says. Northwest. We're going northwest. So on the way back, we want to go southeast. Okay, that's fine. Just got to try and remember that. Anyway, this is probably going to take some time, and you guys don't really want to be bored with the journey. Oh, there's the sea foot. Oh, and no, there is another island. Damn it. Yeah, you guys don't really want to be bored with this journey, so um, I'm going to skip to the end of the journey. And I'm going to look at that when I come back as well. If, unless that's just a piece of reef. But yeah, I'm going to skip this journey. So I will be back soon. Good news! We made it. This thing is horrible to control, by the way. There's a rack. I'll have to check that out in a sec. Uh, and another one. Let's just check that out now. Yeah, this, this thing is horrible to control. You have to keep looking down to see where you're aiming, and then when you look up, it goes completely off of the path you were aiming at. Let's put that away. Um, and the sun's coming out. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's got to be... That's got to be my screenshot, I think. That is incredible. Anyway, let's uh, splash ourselves in. Oh, okay. Apparently I can just go right through the thing now. <laughs> the hell? And... Uh, come on, get up, get up. Oh, god damn it. That's so glitchy. Where's my boat? Come here, boat. Come on. I'm trying to grab you. Come here. We've got... What the hell is that? There's nothing in there. Oh my god, it's actually empty. What the hell? An empty toolbox. God damn it. I went around the wrong side, didn't I? Oh, yes, more tyres. Propeller. Bandages. You don't get much oxygen time underwater anymore. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Did you see that? Where'd it go? Holy Jesus. 
I can't even see it now. Where's it gone? Well, I don't want to fill up too much on this stuff anyway, because um, the whole purpose of me being here was to get building materials, not um, other stuff. Let's just check. Okay, I'm still good there. Jesus, look at the size of that thing. Don't think it's going to do much, but... Hey, I've got a knife. <laughs> um, my arm is going through my foot. That could be a problem. You want to become sushi? Yeah, that's what I thought. Stay away from me, boy. Go away. Oh, I don't even know why I'm chancing this. Another propeller. Fine. Any problem I have is I want to get these tires off. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, there we go. Right. See, the, the sneaky thing is what I can do. I can go into the crafting menu and I can turn that straight into a craft and attach it side on to that. And now those tyres. Oh, damn, it's safe. It didn't take that one. Um, what if I can put that up there? Let's, uh, let's drive over this way quick. I don't know if there is a, I don't think there is a bottom deck you can get into on this thing. Why are you not turning now? Okay, I've made it really hard to turn this thing now. <laughs> turn, you bastard. Right, stop, 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 stop. I'll put you up there and keep you safe. There was some bubbling or rippling over here somewhere that I saw as we were coming in. Ah, here. Right there. That usually means there's something down there. God, this guy's not leaving me alone, is he? I bet there's something really awesome down there as well. Don't want to take the chance there, that's the thing. Leave me alone. Go away. Come on, Em. You want some? Let's get him. Yeah, now you're running scared. Um, get some oxygen. Come on, punk. Come on. Yeah, coward. Ah, oh, damn. Get off me. He's actually got me in his mouth. Damn it. Oh, it's got... Yeah, I'm watching you, boy. Good thing I found bandages, really, isn't it? Whew, that was close. Oh, that's not good. Let's, um... Eat this. What the? My boat turned upside down. I did bandage myself though, didn't I? Yeah, all the blood's gone. And I'm okay for food and drink. 
But my raft is um, kaput. And I don't know how I'm supposed to fix it. Especially with this guy around. I'm kind of trapped on my upside down raft now. Can I even... I can't even drive it. Oh my god. Well, this is unfortunate. Oh, there's a big old container over there. Oh, how am I supposed to get container parts back? I need a massive raft for that. Ooh, there's an airplane. An axe. I have one of those already. Can't even get into that console. Gotta look around. Oh, God. There he is. Whoa! What the hell? Oh my god. Well, at least it's the right way up. But did you see that? It flew for miles. Jesus. I'm just glad it's the right way up. But oh my god, that was crazy. It flew. I had the wreck go. Am I really that far out? That was hilarious. Oh my god. Right, let's get to that damn island before I die. Oh my god. This has not gone well at all. Yeah, you can go away, shark boy. I'm getting out of here. You'll never get me. Famous last words. That was some absolutely crazy stuff, though. Let's turn. Turn. Turn down, you turn. Oh, no, it rains. Great. Come on, up the shore you get. There we go. Oh, crabs. Nice. Oh, I didn't bring a spear. What's the, can I make a spear? What is it to make a spear? A rock shard, a lashing, and a wood... and Two wood sticks. Okay. Well, let's pick... Let's grab those two. And that. And grab a lashing. Yucca right there. And now let's make a spear. You don't even need to keep it in your inventory anymore. Uh, put it on the floor anymore. You can... Oh, I forgot the other stick. You can craft things while they're in your inventory. Which is awesome. Uh, spear. Craft. That was the wrong button. I want to get that plank scrap. It's hard to find crabs. They're all yellow now as well. I used to get brown and blue, but I only ever see yellow ones now. Got me some food for when I get back to the island. Right, let's have a look in here. Oh my god, stop being stuck. Okay. The movement speed is ridiculously slow now. Empty again. Why are all the toolboxes empty? I've seen a, a couple of other people playing this. And every time they come up against the toolbox, it's always empty as well. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the toolboxes have glitched out. It is, it is literally everyone. I've got tons of rocks on my island, so I'm not going to bother wasting space on them. Not unless I absolutely have to. I can get as many sticks as I want now as well. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. When you go up to a tree now, you attach properly and you climb with an animation. No more falling off of palm trees. There, I can climb up and down and I always stay attached to the tree. Oh, that is one thing I'm so happy for. Thank you, Beam Team, for that. I love you guys for that. Wow, I'm pretty full already. Let's get rid of that stick. Don't need that. Don't really need that rock shard either. <clears throat> I would like to get those pieces. Oh, there's two here. I could build a massive house if I had all that stuff. That, I think, is going to have to be something I work on off camera. Because that's going to be an absolute arse. 
I'm going to be able to take like... Oh, I'm going to have to build a massive sh uh, raft first. And then I'm going to be able to take one piece at a time. Because you know I'm going to have to keep stopping. Like every five seconds. Just so that I can get the... Uh, so I can reposition it. Because the thing is going to keep falling off and that's going in my face. Thanks for that. Yeah, that is that is going to be an absolute pain in the pants to do. <laughs> that tree is growing through that rock. Hmm, GG tree. Bit of driftwood. I have some more wrecks out here. There's a lot of wrecks around this island. Hopefully that shark's buggered off. Let's see if this one's got anything in it. Well, this one's a hard case. Okay, hard cases seem to be working a bit better than... Um, oh, we've got lighters, though. Seem to be working a lot better than the toolboxes do. Although the problem with the hard cases is that they quite often will spawn inside of rocks. Uh, inside of bits of wood. So you can't even access them. So that's the problem with hard cases. That and they're usually all mouth. Get it? Hard cases? Don't worry. I'll take this though. Running low on space already. Oh wow, more crabs. I've got space for three more crabs as well. Oh, there had to be four. Well, I don't want to leave this one alone. Don't really need lashing. I've got tons of lashing. There's so many more yucca trees now. And I'll be dragging this spear before I leave so I can pick up some more resource. It's nice you don't have to worry about having a paddle on you all the time. Right, let's explore this little one over here. And then I'll do that bit over there, I think. I really am upset that it's going to be such a pain to get those containers across. But I'm happy that I'm getting all these resources. It's been a long time that I've been needing to do this for. Go on a proper resource hunt. Actually visit some other islands. Leave all that for now. Oh, that was some uh, lag there. Plank scrap. Got space for a lot more stuff. Come here, steel. You're mine. What a steal. I know that was a bad pun. And I, I do apologise. I can get rid of those propellers if I have to. Or maybe that one crab. Four axes. Jesus. That is quite annoying, though. Let's put the knife on. <clears throat> they do need to have a separate slot that's like here that's empty hand or something. Like you get on Space Engineers, you get the hot bar 1 to 9 down the bottom. And then 0 is uh, empty hand. How's that? I think that's just a bit of sand. So that, that way you, uh, you always have the option of selecting an empty hand. You don't have to worry about having stuff on you all the time. Or like stuff in your hand. That can get in the way of the screen. Aha, more steel. Right, let's go to this little tiny one. There may be something there that hasn't quite spawned yet. It's quite a nice little island base, actually. I mean, I could relocate over here. But it's quite far out. Plus there's sharks over here. Don't like sharks. <coughs> and I do already have quite a lot of stuff over my end. So either way it's going to mean moving something. I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet. Let's see what we're up to. Oh I need to eat something. Damn. One of these was cooked. Oh no I ate that didn't I? Okay, I need to get some uh, coconuts off a tree. Right, anything over here? I think these 
flat sandy ones are empty. Right, let's see if there's any coconuts on this tree. Coconut? Coconut? Coconut. Coconut. I should get that printed on a t-shirt. Coconut. Give me bump. What? Okay, apparently you've got to whack it with a knife. That's different, but there you go. I have some coconuts. Coconuts. Right, let's... Um Chuck the spear down for a minute. Get out the axe. Whack that. Whack that. Then we can... Do that, and that, and that, and that. Grab them. Oh, that's really helped. Look at that. Beautiful. Take the spear back in case we need it. I'm so glad that reachable coconuts are back. I'm so happy about that. It's getting dark already. Well, we've had a very exciting day. Shark attacks and a flying boat. Hey, that's a good name for this episode. Shark attacks and a flying boat. Here's the uh, smaller size container. Look at that shadow. Look how cool that it looks. I feel like David Hasselhoff. Running down a beach. No, I should really have my shirt off. <laughs> Big one. Beautiful. Right, let's just look for some last resources to take back. And then we can head back over to our island. Southeast, I believe it was. If I've remembered that correctly. If not, then this will be our new home because I've forgotten. <coughs> but I'm pretty sure it was southeast. To our southeast. Uh, resources tend to be around the outsides of the islands. So I always check the outsides first. And then I'll do a search up the middle. I want to do this before it gets dark dark though. Otherwise, I'm probably going to miss stuff. Come on dude, run. The walking, look, the walking is so ridiculously slow now. Even the running slowed down. Wow, look at that moonrise. That's incredible. Right, running out of light. Time for the torch. So by the looks of things, there's nothing on the perimeter of this one. Which means let's check inland. And hope that there's something there. I mean, this is quite a big amount of space. I'd be surprised if there wasn't something... ...on at least one part of this, this bit. Because this is, like I said, this is a hell of a sized bit of land. I know resources spawn quite abundantly these days, but for it to all just be on that little bit and none over here is kind of odd. The game does seem to be working a lot better now. After my uh, my complaints of it being broken and Beam Team needing to fix it, it does seem to be working a hell of a lot better. Things seem to interact a lot better. I mean, obviously there is the one or two little off bits here, but yeah, it seems to be working nicely now. I've heard complaints from friends that that after the update that tried to fix the problems I was originally talking about, it's broken everything and nothing works properly now. But, it does seem it's fine. Unless there's been another update since I spoke to that person. Which is possible. My Steam auto updates games and I don't even know it's doing it. Right, I've probably gone in a few circles there, but I think I've looked everywhere. There is literally nothing on this bit. 
Which is weird, but there you go, that's life, I guess. So I've searched... Oh, actually, didn't I start on that one? Then I went across there. Well, we'll go and have a look at this one now, anyway. So maybe it's because I've got that in my hand. Look at this water, when you put a torch to it. it looks beautiful. The way it underlights snap. Nice bu a bu blue. Bue's not even a word. Right, did we check this one? Um, I think we might have. Yeah, look, there's wood sticks and stones. And these are the wrecks that I looked at first. And there's my boat. Yeah, so this one we've looked at. Oh, yeah, that's a point. I want to have a quick look. Because I want to do some farming. Aha! Which means I need one of those. Chuck that spear down now. A kawawawa fruit. Have they got the other type of fruit here as well? Not that I've got space for it. But I, I just didn't see the trees for them on my island. What's this one? And this one's the kura. Well, what can we get rid of? If you're that single crab. I was hoping to find more planks. I've only got enough for... Uh, to make one... I've got one lot of planks back there. I've got this lot of planks. Oh, actually, no, I've got those there. Because I wanted to make another part for this raft as well, because I'm going to have to make it bigger to transport all those container parts. And I've got two pieces of corrugated, which is going to help to make another farm block, because I want to make two farm plots. Basically, I want to be self-sufficient food-wise, because I am going to eventually, even if I got, you know, I got all the palm trees, there's a lot of palm trees now, but if I got up all of them, I'm still going to run out of coconuts pretty soon. And I'm going to have to start coconut and up on other islands. And that's going to be a pain. I want to be properly self-sufficient. So that's why I'm going to start farming. Right, first things first, let's get this boat built properly. I know I can make it out of these, but I don't want it to be different. It, I've got five, it takes two. It takes two, baby. Well, I've got to stop singing. Um, that should be fine. Yep, there we go. That should be a bit more stable now. Shame I can't turn this round. If I break that off, I think we lose the resource. We'll sort that all out when we get back to the island, which is... Uh, south east. That way. So it's that one there. Okay. Just need to make this thing a lot longer. I think what I'll do is I'll probably... Oh, I don't know about width-wise. I'll probably make it something like 4x2. And then put a sail on. And I'm probably going to need a motor for a boat that size. Because I think the sail stops having such an effect when the boats get huge. And it starts to not work right. Right, let's see. So we're pointing this way. Southeast is that way. So that's the island we want to go to. There is actually quite a lot of islands that you can see from this one. From my island, I couldn't see any. From this one, you can see loads. Well, I'm going to do this journey back. And um, I'll be back in a minute. Well, as you can see, I found the island again. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I want to go over that way. And now I've hit land. Right, okay. But we're back. We made it. Woohoo. Looks like we made it. Okay, what did I say about singing? Seriously, stop. <laughs> anyway, um... Oh, I can't be asked to drag this all the way over there. Come on, yeah, heavy thing. Should just leave it here, really. I can't actually get this way from my island because of that big old sandbar going across. Whoa, glitchage. Yeah, no, he's stuck. God damn it. Look, that way. Go. Come on, that way. There we go. Oh my god, there's land everywhere. 
I went right over that um, barrel. Which is fair enough. Yay, right, we're home. Finally, officially home. Come on, on land. On you get. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see what we like for food. Getting kind of low. Well, I've got a lot of crabs to cook now. I've got a lot of crabs. Sounds so wrong, doesn't it? Right, you can go down there. No, I said there. Thank you. Steel can go on there. On there. On there. On that. Oh, on that. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> that went well. Right, steel, you can go there. And there. And like that. Like that. Some of this stuff is so bulky. And like that. Right, okay. Got wood pile there, rocks, tools, lashings next to the rocks. Let's get rid of this stuff. This is my general junk pile. So I might be with the tarps. Just put them over here. Like those can go there. Corrugation. Can't even that there we go. Right, corrugation goes down here. Jesus. Apparently he wants to go over there, but it's tough. Right, you there, you there, and you can go there. You can go there. Right. There we go. God, these resources are annoying. Let's get some wood on the fire. Actually... Before I do that, let's chop this thing up. Okay, I don't know what that did. Oh, it just says log now. <laughs> it's a funny looking log. Right, there we go. Palm fronds. Equals campfire fuel. And let's see if I can put a stick on there as well. Or two. Yeah, right, that's a big old fire now. We should get a load of cooking done. Light that up. Huh, why have I got two planks on me still? That didn't go well. There. And there so it um right you food can go here that's to be cooked Need to cook it straight away otherwise it'll go funny so we're gonna have a bit of a cooking sesh which i am sure you guys don't want to see so i'll be back in a minute and as the uh, moon goes down and the sun comes up, we've got one crab left to cook after this one. Nice pile there. And uh, the not the last update, which I think was the bug fix, but the one before that, um, they changed the food so that food now spoils. So if I'd have left these crabs uncooked, because what I used to do was just have like a pile of crabs or fish or whatever, I'd just leave it there and I'd cook it as I'd cook a few as I need them. But they spoil, so you have to cook them straight away. And then they last a bit longer. They last even longer if you leave them in your inventory, but if you just leave them lying around, then uh, they do die quite quickly. But one cool thing, now these crabs are yellow and have like their, I guess this is their final colour. Look, watch that, you can see that it's kind of yellow. Easy to see with a torch, right? You watch that crab, it will very slowly turn to the red, instead of just suddenly switching and that's it, it's red, it's cooked. It will very slowly turn as you're cooking it. It's awesome. The, kind of the ingenious little things that they think of in this game. Most games would probably just overlook that. They'd be like, mm, it doesn't need to slowly change colour. We just click, it's done, colours change as you take it off. But it's just the effort they put in. And that's why I keep coming back to this game, because 
the effort they put in means that it's worth me putting in the effort to play it. See how it's gone a kind of dark orange now? And coming into red. And then this is probably really boring for you to watch a crab slowly cook. But look, there you go. Red and cooked. Beautiful. Uh, I also filled up my water bottle. So I need to get some more water soon. But there you go. Let's see what my food's like. Right, let's... Um, I should have really slept, but I needed to eat. Let's have one more. The rest can stay in my inventory. Just for now, let's have some more water. Beautiful. Right, and then we should use the other bucket of water for... Um, this farms, which I need to get built now, so... Where's me hoe? <laughs> uh, hoe, there we go. I gots me a hoe, baby. <clears throat> right, that's, um... Farming? Plots? So you want one of these? Actually, I can make two of those. But only one corrugated. I'm not... Pro Actually, no, I do want to use the planks. Uh, okay, we'll save the corrugator for now. Let's just get the planks. So we'll put this one... over here. Like so. Yep. And then we'll build another one. Plots. There. Craft. And we'll put that next to it. Try and get it straight if we can. There we go. That's about as straight as it could be. And then what we do is we can put that one in there. And that one in there. There we go. We are self-sufficient. And then we're just going to keep an eye on the water and make sure that we don't run out. I don't, no, I didn't use any. If only you could put the campfire out to save the fuel. But... I think that that is good for now. Uh, we've got the farming done. We've done some exploring. We've got a load of resources. So we can build a lot more stuff now. Get this uh, house really built up. I think that, that's good for now. So, um, thank you guys very much for watching. I, I hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to keep bringing more of this out back. Because it's great fun to play. I love this game. This is kind of like my main game, I guess. Uh, look out for other games. Uh, still more new games coming soon. Um, obviously, I stream on Twitch. Not a lot at the moment, but occasionally. So keep an eye out for that. And if there's any games you want to see me play, mods for games you want to see me use, any ideas or anything at all, just leave a comment down in the comments. Or most people seem to prefer contact me on Twitter. And the link to that is in the description. So... Yeah, um, I look forward to hearing from you, and I look forward to seeing you all again. So, as I said, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and bye-bye.